Welcome to The Pulse, I'm Jennifer Ray, your host, and today we're out at Oxyoke Stables, which is located on County Road 26 and 92, just 20 minutes west of the Ridgedale Shopping Center. And we have two special guests today. The uh, first is two-legged, the owner and horse trainer, Natalie Kerber, and her four-legged horse, Quest. So we'll be talking with Natalie as she's riding Quest and showing some different dressage moves. That's good. Right now she's cantering. Collecting the canter. And she's changing the way the speed and the length of the step within the canter. The half pass is you're using your legs. This is good. Yielding them so that they're going over in an angle. Okay. And they're doing almost a crossover step. So collected walk, or we're trying anyway. He's stuck. Collected walk. We're gonna pick up the canter. Collected walk is a short stride. Collected canter. The steps are short. Walk. And I'm gonna change rein. Left lead. 10 meter circle at the collected canter. The lead is which leg is going out first. Ah, good boy. I'm letting out the rein. Long neck, relaxes the neck. Walk. So this shows that the horse is relaxed. He's not stressed out. He's not upset about anything I've been working on. He's calmly walking along like good horses do. <laughs> okay, walk. You're good. I'm gonna pick up the reins. That. Turn on the haunches, or I'm going to try. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. And that was just a quarter turn. We'll try a quarter turn to the left now. Watch how the hind legs basically just kind of step next to each other, maybe a little crossing over. This is a half turn. Very good boy. This is what a, a lead or a lead change or a counter canter is in my version of sharing it with you. If I have my right foot and I'm going like this around in a circle, I'm on my right lead. If I want this leg, which is a counter lead, meaning if I have to go around the circle like this, it's a lot more difficult because it's a different change of a different leg. So when she's saying she's doing a counter change, she's making the horse use which leg goes around the circle, and a flying lead change is when they change it like a couple steps and a couple steps. And so they can decide using your hands, seat, and legs, which leg is going at which direction <laughs> and which lead is changing. And it's very difficult for the horse to do that. They are an athlete, and they do have to be muscled up in order to do that well. Now, one of the things I've always thought um, is interesting to share with people, I think a good rider is somebody who can ride with their eyes closed and they know exactly where <laughs> each horse's foot is at all times. And when you have that feeling in your seat and in your thighs, that's when you know when to ask for different things to get the horse to do different things. Now, I also think that equestrian uh, riding or in my opinion, which may or may not be everybody's. <laughs> Dressage is kind of like ballet for dance. It's, the, it's the, the technique and the structure of knowing how the horse works and bends and uh, track for sports. You know, if you're really good at track and you learn how to run, you're gonna be better at soccer or football or something like that. And I think it's wonderful for people to take lessons. So do you want to talk a little bit about lessons and who takes them and I think there's no, you can't be, there's never too, too late of a time to start riding. 
No, not at all. Um, I have taught everyone from four and up. I think I've even had a 70-year-old grandma come. Um, and lessons are a great way to actually learn how to ride a horse. Instead of taking a guided trail ride and just nose to tail, you come out here and you actually learn how to ride. And you get to groom and tack and spend quality time with uh, the horse, whatever it is, whether it's your horse or one of my school horses. Uh, and everybody you know, learns not to be afraid and learns how to sit and learns how to steer because believe it or not, there's a lot going on <laughs> up top here that people don't see or aren't even aware of. So everybody can learn how to ride. It's not, you know, you just can't be afraid would be nice. <laughs> You're not afraid that would be a bonus, but we can work through that too. And they are big and beautiful, but they are also yeah, just little sweethearts. Yeah, we got all sizes. This is the, the biggest one we have right now, but Pal Pony is only 11 hands and Peanut Butter Cup is only 15 hands. So they're more regular. So. And each, each hand is four inches, so they're, they're shorter, of course. And how tall is Quest here? He's 16 too. 16 too, so that's a big boy. You can tell his thoroughbred is coming through there. <laughs> and one of the things that I also wanted to mention is even though when you're watching and it just looks like somebody sitting atop and riding around, you are working constantly, and I believe, uh, it was years ago I read, but you burn 800 calories an hour riding dressage. Wow, I like that. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds really good. Yeah, it, I hope you it's are, true. I you are it's really true. working, working your core. I'm warm, I'll tell you. I'm not, I'm not cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is great exercise, really great exercise. And, of course, spending time with horses is always fantastic. So, Natalie, when did you first fall in love with horses and when did you decide to oh, make this your your life okay well you know I think all little girls love horses but when we moved to Anoka out into the rural area I really wanted my own horse and finally when I was 16 I got one and I just trail rode around the neighborhood you know we had dirt roads and all that in a park that you could just ride through down by the Rum River and then it was when I was a senior in high school it was fourth quarter and my counselors asking me do you know what you want to do yet? And I said, no. And then I walked out the door and there was a rack full of all the brochures for Hennepin Technical Centers. And the one like smack in the middle said, horse care and stable operations. And I yanked it out of the rack and I said, that's what I'm going to do. One year course, $1,000, I was done. And uh, that's what I've been doing ever since. <laughs> and you and Phil have owned this property for decades. Uh, since 1988. Yeah, that's a long time. It's yeah. a very long time. We're not going anywhere. This is it. <laughs> we live here and we work here. <laughs> and one of the other things I think is really neat, just on a side note here about Natalie, uh, because I've had my horses here and I've taken lessons from Natalie for many years, and the way that you are, are um, what do we call that, when you raise the animals and you feed them and raise them and butcher them and oh, eat them. What is, oh, farm to table? Farm or to table, a table farm to farm, what do you want, farm to table, Farm yeah. to table. Yep. And I'm telling you, those cows are so cute. I don't see any out here today. Uh, there's do you actually, still do that? on the other side of the are house. Are they on the other side yep. of the house there's now just today? one, but, but they, why you know, is there? <laughs> they're, they're walked out to pasture every day and given water and brought yep. in. And I'm telling you, those are the well, right now it's the summer, best taken so they're care of hanging out outside. cows and pigs and chickens <laughs> I've ever met. Yes, very lucky, very, very lucky. And so, Natalie, um, is there an age limit? Now, Pal Pony's retired, yep. and he was really small and, and yep. for the little kids. Do we yep. still have a horse for the little tiny tykes? Um, you know, not right now, we don't. And I'm not ready to go out and purchase something else. So now I've just kept it to 10 and up. And I certainly don't mind giving a pony ride to a friend or a relative, you know, that's fine. But um, it's, it got to be a little too much for Pal Pony and even Peanut Butter Cup, I had to limit her to. So I'm not doing horse camps right now because buying horses is like buying a used car. You yeah. just don't know what you're going to get. So I'm just going to stick with what I got for right now. <laughs> well, that sounds good. And uh, then can you just discuss a little bit about times that you're available to schedule lessons and cost? Well, Yep, right now is the crazy season, so I am full for the summer. Uh, things will probably change when school starts again in the fall and when sports start. Um, you know, kids want to do softball or basketball. I don't know what seasons anything is. We ride all year long. A private lesson with a school horse is $45, and a private lesson on your own horse is $38.50. You get a discount <laughs> if you keep it here. <laughs> Well, that sounds pretty darn reasonable. And um, so you're pretty much booked up for this summer? 
Yeah, unless well, somebody, I would believe it. I would believe something it. Well, happens. I mean, I, I got a call that I got to return a call this morning already again. Calls and emails all the time. It's like starting March. Yeah. I mean, if you haven't called me by March, it'll be tough. <laughs> well, it's a great location. You're a fabulous teacher. Right. And yeah, because I, I don't place. have any other instructors. Um, I do it all. Yep, I'm doing do it, all. it all myself, so I only take what I can handle, and I ride the school horses once a week for sure, if not more, every week, so that they stay schooled. Because when you put students on them, they become untrained pretty quick. <laughs> so I like to keep everybody going correctly so that the students have the experience they're supposed to have, not, you know, the horses will just do what they want. Well, Natalie has dismounted our beautiful quest, and now she's going to just share a little bit of stories about the children that she actually does teach and the horses that they have, and we'll put up some pictures. And so do you have a few stories that you want to share with the yep. horses that they are on? Yep. So uh, Nell is a longtime student. She started on Pal Pony when she was, I think, six, maybe seven. I'm not sure. Anyway, she's been coming a long time and now she has graduated to Peanut Butter Cup <laughs> and is riding her around and she likes to ride Western, which is totally fine. And Peanut Butter Cup um, is a mare and she's 26 years old, the barn princess, and she has thoughts and opinions. And if you don't know what you're doing, she will just turn around and go the other way. And Nell is aware of this. She does it at the walk. She's not cantering around or leaving the area. She just says, nope, that's not right. And so what's so nice about Peanut Butter Cup, because Nell had all that experience with Pal Pony, who is also opinionated and is quite a little whippersnapper, really. She was able to take those skills she learned from Pal Pony, and now she uses them on Peanut Butter Cup, uh, which is a much larger horse than Pal Pony. But it's so cute to see them together and to see them progressing and how when Peanut Butter Cup says, no, Nell, you're doing it wrong, and she tries to go the other way, Nell's able to stop and get her turned back around and then they get her trotting around the ring and yesterday she took her first three canter strides it's very oh, exciting that's a big deal. That's very a big exciting deal. and peanut buttercup was very good about it <laughs> because if she doesn't think you're ready to canter she won't she won't canter <laughs> she's not going to <laughs> because she's been doing this for so many years she knows, she knows yes. you can't fool her and then i had another gal named marty who was actually also started on pal pony and uh, went from Pal Pony to Peanut Butter Cup and progressed to Lyle out there and actually did a little jumping for a while. And we went over some, you know, low fences, nothing big and, you know, exciting. And there's actually a dressage test called a pre caprilli where you put up two or three fences and it's part of the dressage test. And Lyle really enjoys that and I know she really enjoyed that too. So all the, both those little girls started on Pal Pony, who's literally this <laughs> tall. And Lyle is 15'3 and 1150 pounds. And then, you know, you end up riding this big horse and going over jumps yet. So it's very exciting to watch the kids, you know, get Progress. bigger Progress. and better and being able to steer these large animals around without any effort, really. And there's something really magical about horses. They seem to know children and they seem to know, when well, and little. adults, but they seem to know children <laughs> and they, they just seem to take care of them. I don't know what it is. It's something very yep. magical about yep, them. Yep, because Nell actually learned how to canter on Quest, on the oh, lunge line. okay. Because she was afraid. So then I just put her on the lunge line, put him in the side reins. He's really good about it. And she learned how to canter on him both directions. And she was concerned. But that's why we have this strap. So they can put their fingers around the strap. They don't have to worry about steering. I take care of that. They're totally safe. And Quest is so good about it. And so she, she had that first experience where she didn't have to worry about, oh, I've got a steer and my horse is cantering and I'm so, nope, we don't have to do that. Just sit back, grab your seat and enjoy yep, the ride. Exactly. And then that worked out great. Well, that sounds terrific. Well, Natalie, thank you so much for sharing You're yourself welcome. and Quest and Oxyoke with us today. And it was nice to be out here on a beautiful morning. So it's thank nice you. Day. I'm Jennifer Ray with The Pulse and try riding. It's a fabulous, fabulous sport and you'll fall in love with it just like I did. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.